Hello soil lovers, Ray Mladoni from Farming Secrets. I'm here at the Patch, our head office in the uh, Dandenong Ranges. And uh, today we're just gonna be talking about an amazing book called Bread from Stones, a story about a farmer who was milling wheat uh, to turn into flour and it wasn't usable because the stones um, that were used to mill it had, had caused grit to be in the flour. And so instead of not wasting it, they put the stuff into the paddocks and some amazing results happened. And so just chatting today with Hugo about their experience of biologically activating minerals. So putting minerals down or rock dust onto a paddock is one thing, but when you can actually biologically activate it, by using a vermicompost tea or a composting system. Um, and some of our videos from last week showed some easy ways that you can activate vermicompost. So check out those on our, on our YouTube channel. But, you know, this is the next layer. I was like, how can you use that compost tea to then activate uh, your mineral rock dust? And so Hugo uh, talks about his story at Vitec when they had their fertilizer business. So. Um, I'll let Hugo do the rest of the talking, but just wanted to um, highlight how important literature from 1800s is um, and that some of these methods can't be lost. So our duty, I guess, is to keep these stories alive. And that's the reason why we picked to highlight this book this week. So that way we can uh, share what has happened in the past and bring those stories back to life now uh, in, and for the future. So uh, enjoy this lovely chat that Hugo and I did uh, just moments ago in front of the bookshelf um, and one of the many resources that we have here at Farming Secrets. Until next time, dig deeper into your soils and over to you, Hugo. I'm Hugo Dizler, co-founder of Farming Secrets together with my wife, Helen. And behind the camera, we have Ray Miller Donning, who's been with us for a few years and now he's official partner or, or a part of our business. Now, the interesting thing is that um, with this regen agriculture, what's happening is the the, the wheel is being reinvented many times over and there's pioneers who've done this sort of work a long time ago and this particular book which was introduced to me uh, by someone coming to one of our stands in nine, back in nine, around 1990 it's called Bread from Stone and it's written by a chap called Julius Hensel now Julius Hensel put his work together back in 1883 in 1893, it was put together in a written documentation. And this book is actually uh, from the information that Julius Hensel created back in, uh, well, prior to 1883. I'm talking about 1883. Now, there's other, people, other pioneers which you may talk about later. But what inspired me about uh, Julius Hensel was that he uh, was grinding up some flour and in the process of grounding up flour, he found it was gritty, and he didn't know what and didn't know what to do with it. So what he he put his mind mind to it, and eventually what he did with it, he put it around brassica plants. Every second brassica plant, he put his ground up flour with the stone dust in it, because it wasn't fit for human consumption, and he put it around every second plant. But what he found was that uh, the plants become fungal resistant and insect resistant. And um, prior to that, he had done work as well. He's an industrial chemist. The interesting thing is that, uh, jump to the next thing. Because I read about the book or heard about the book, we were uh, manufacturing mineral fertilizers, which looked like this here. Right. And in these mineral fertilizers, we want to put as many products in as we possibly can to make it a complete fertiliser. We had natural phosphate, uh, coal dust, dolomite, gypsum, granite, basalt, and sulphate of potash. Well, forget about the sulphate of potash, but anyway, we did put those in to make it a complete fertiliser. The interesting thing was that it worked well, but when we, I, I put my thinking cap on, especially after reading this book, I thought, okay, I'll take the next step forward, next step thing. I'll put in 60 litres of fish fertiliser, liquid fish fertiliser in this, and I'll put in 10 kilos of powdered kelp into this product. Then we had it coated, and the company was now called Eco Growth, which is still in existence. They prilled it for me and sold this fertiliser. We, we used to call it Vitec All Natural Complete Mineral Fertiliser. Now, the interesting thing was, when I grew plants in it, just imagine this having 
seeds and, and soil in there. And I'll put in the plain product without the fish and the seaweed in it, and in one tray like this, and in another tray like this one, I put in the product which had the fish and seaweed in it. What, what's an interesting experiment, which you can do yourself, especially on trays like this, the product with the fish fertiliser and the seaweed was in it, had roots that actually, this was sitting on newspaper, had roots coming out four or six inches. The other one where it had no, didn't have the fish fertiliser and the seaweed in it, the roots could barely come out. It would meet absolutely proved that mineralising or biologically activating minerals makes a huge difference. Now, there's a number of products that farmers can easily put together, apart from rock phosphate, dolomite, gypsum, basalt, granite dust, and any other sort of inert product. What farmers are finding, or what we've found too, that you can put in, use one tenth of that product by putting it into compost, letting the compost activate it. And there are other means of activating it too. But the whole idea, and then you use one tenth of the product, and the product or the product becomes 10 times more efficient, whichever way you put it. So the main thing is, in what I'm saying, is when you biologically activate um, the minerals that you're going to be applying, you put on less of them and they're far more effective and they last longer in the soil. We had, uh, when our product was matched against high analysis complete synthetic fertilizer, in all crops, it actually outperformed the, the high analysis complete mineral fertilizer. So the, the whole thing is about biologically activating your minerals uh, and doing whatever you know to do to get the best value out of especially bedrock minerals or primeval <laughs> minerals. So good farming or good gardening. Thank you.